Second win against a top five player and the first time since 2002 that the top two men's seeds are out before the third round. I mean, this is historic stuff that we're seeing for Brooksby. He talked about the mental state. He had match points in that third set. What did you make of the way he was able to respond and close this out? That is exactly right. We, we can all sort of wipe the drool out of watching his backhand another time. Let's talk about the mental resolve yesterday. We don't, remember Danielle Collins the other day? She thought she won the match, and then she realized the tie break and the decisive set of more points, and she had to reset, and she still won. A little of that yesterday with Brooksby. You're serving to beat the number two seed, biggest win of your career. You don't get it done. He wins the set. To come back and win that fourth set, to me, that says so much about him. What a win and just what a way to get there after really having the match slip through for about an hour. Martina, which way do you see this? More uh, of Brooksby being able to, to take advantage and, and come out on top or a, a disappointment for Casper Ruud, the two seed, a guy who could have gotten to number one in the world? Yeah, I think these heavier balls don't favor people that put a lot of spin on the ball. And Brooksby hits the ball pretty flat, gets there fast, like I said. But really, kudos to Brooksby for hanging in there, not just emotionally, but physically. He looked like he was so tired. And I think you see these warriors, Nadal, Murray, coming back and fighting. And I think the whole, both men and women's locker rooms got this collective confidence. And, you know, I can do that too. And you see the mental toughness has really gone to another level. I see throughout the tournament, all the players are just not giving up. And I love that. Yeah, I think if you're rude, I think you have to be shattered. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is if you're in the top two, top three in the world and a chance to get to one in the world, gotten to some finals of majors. This is what it's all about. And read somewhere that now he's going to take a little break and then have a training block got to have a training block in, but this is the ultimate. And look at his portion of the draw. There was a big opportunity here for him to possibly win his first major. I know he played a lot of exos and there was a lot of stuff going on. You have to try and take advantage of that when that earning opportunity is there. Mm -hmm. But I say no. I say you go put all the training in to be ready to win the Australian Open and then let the other stuff happen. I think this might be a big learning lesson for him moving forward. He said he was going to take his off season starting in February. Well, unfortunately, yeah. it's January 19th. He has a long off season in the middle of the season. I think the fact that he played so much in November, December, may be something he'll reconsider. The two guys who played the Exos with one another in yeah. South America, yeah, right, Rafa, right, Casper, right. they're both out of the tournament. Right. Jensen Brooksby going to face Tommy Paul in the next round.